Beshem Hashem Naseh Venasliach. We continue with Hilchot Pesach from Benishchai Sefer. Arav Shalom, Arav Yosef Chaim Min Baghdad. Halachot Pesach is brought in Parashat Sav of the first year. Halachazain. Today's Shiur is dedicated for Hastacha, Bria, Lefua Shanama. And that all the soulmates among Am Israel should find their 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 benzuk, batzuk soulmate. Amen. Hashem, and especially this shul is dedicated for Ilui Nishmat. Ben Yamin, Ben Yehoshua. Ben Yamin, Ben Yehoshua, Nikur. Ben Farajola Davidi. Agam Sirus Kurosh, Ben Pari. Ruach Hashem ben Chana Meganidem. Okay. אחר הבדירה בלילה מיד יבטלנו ויומר כל חמירה דלה חזתה Immediately after um, searching for the Hamas at night of 14th of Pesach one is supposed to nullify supposed to מבטל all the Hamas he needs to announce that the Hametz that is in his uh, per, uh, premises, uh, in his residence, store, and other places that he owes are batel. Le batel are nullified. Le batel ka'afira ka'ara. And it is like the dust of the ground. It's like dirt and dust. And one needs to understand those that statement that he's making that this do this uh, this chametz <coughs> is completely nullified and is like the dust and the dirt of the land. Shem that includes all the chametz and all the do. Whatever is in the category of Hamas that one is not supposed to to own during Pesach. Gam Yavin, he needs to understand Habitul Hu Sheoseh He needs to understand that this that is making nullified, he's making it ownerless. In other words, whatever he doesn't, he's not aware of Hamas <coughs> that is in his premises. He needs to declare ownerness. Now we're not talking about the chametz that you have that you sell it to the goy or you you gift it to the goy that um, in order to uh, to have it back after Pesach you selling it to the non-Jew or you making it uh, uh, you gift it to him as a non-Jew and within the conditions that are met it can you can reacquire that you don't make the ones that are uh, just scattered around the house, we're declaring it uh, ownerless. Right, ownerless. The ones that you're not aware of. And you're supposed to say that statement of bitul nullifying three times. Why this concept of doing one thing three times, right, makes a chazaka makes it a, a strong bounding and once you do something three times without saying Beli Neder then that is uh, already established Wow, so once you you say something or do something three times without saying Beli Neder yeah. it's established okay. Yes, or, or, or some say without saying Bezat Hashem so because this way it is as if you accept it upon yourself and you did it three consecutive times. So then in certain cases, one needs to seek hatarat nedarim. He needs to nullify that neder, that vow that he made. Baruch Amen. Amen.